Hi, and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner, and I'm working through a React.js demo. So far, I've uh, set up uh, this form with the radio option group, and I have this other option wired up so that when I click the button, here, I'll refresh. If I click the button, this appears. But the problem is, if I click these other radio options, it's not disappearing. So if I go back to my code, <clears throat> I can see that in my other option, I have this on change event that's supposed to be firing every time my radio input changes. But it seems in React, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but this event is not firing when the radio button gets deselected due to you clicking a different radio button. So I need to do things a little bit different or add some extra code to handle this. So I'm going to go to my parent, which is the radio option group, and I'm going to put an event listener right here. Same thing, a change on change event. And I'm going to make a method for it on change, which I'll do here. So this is going to fire every time anything changes inside my radio option group. And that means if I click one of the other radio buttons, this will get called because it's going to bubble up. And so what I, all I want to do is that every time uh, the change event happens, that it's going to call, it's going to tell this radio other option to redraw itself. So there's two things I need to do. One is to check that this props other is set because, you know, I can make a radio option group that doesn't have another option, and in that case I wouldn't want anything to happen, so I'll check for that. And the other thing I need to do is uh, I want to reference this component and tell it to update itself. So I need to give it a ref, which I assume stands for reference. I'm going to call it, oops, let's call it other, and then what I can do is every time a change event happens, I'm just going to say this.refs.other, and I'm going to tell it to update itself. So I'm going to use a method called force update. Now, force update you really don't want to use very often. Uh, in this case, I'm kind of doing a workaround where nothing is changing about it, but I need it to update itself. So it's kind of the rare situation that you'd actually need this. So force update, what's it going to do? Well in my option, in my other option, I need it to somehow update itself. So I need to add a method, another method to this component that will run every time it updates. So one of those I can do is component did update every time if force update comes through and it updates itself this will run. And what I'm going to do is simply, um, I'm basically going to do the same thing that's happening here, where I get the input and then I set the state. But instead of it being an event.target, I'm going to, I want to look at this specific radio I input. So I'm going to do the same thing I just did to the component and give it a ref. I'll call it input. Now I can use the same technique I did in the other, and use this dot refs dot input. And to check if it's checked, what I need to do is actually, um, so this refs dot input, this is going to reference a component. Now you don't see a component here, but internally with React, when you create these HTML tags, it's creating React components to represent them. And if I want to get at the actual DOM element behind it, I need to call get DOM node. Now you can call this on any React component. Uh, if you want to get at the root element of your component, like if I called it here, it would be P, but the, the root paragraph here. But in this case, I want to call it for the input radio. So I have my input here. I'm checking input.checked. 
And I'm not sure if this will work right away, but let's see if that fixed things. So I'm going to refresh. Uh, if I click other, it shows up, which is good. If I click another one, it goes away. So that's great. So I've used um, a few new features to get that to work. I'm going to check my console, see that oh, there is an error happening. So why is that error happening? Let's see. It's at 8. If I click away, then there's an error. If I click back, there's an error. So what is that error? I'm not quite sure. Um, let's put a console log into component did update just to see what's happening. So I'll just log component did update and let's say this dot refs dot uh, here I'll move this down and log input just to see what's happening. Refresh, click other, ooh looks like whoa if you see my scroll bar it just keeps logging and logging and logging i seem to be in some kind of infinite loop yeah so let's refresh if it doesn't crash my browser so why am i in an infinite loop well i guess if you think about it i'm setting the state so it's updating my component and then it's probably calling component did update again after this changed. So maybe I can be a bit smart about updating it. So component did update, I know it takes uh, two arguments. It takes the previous props and the previous state. So what that lets me do is compare, I can look at what the state used to be and see what I'm about to set it as and make sure that I'm not updating it unnecessarily. So what I mean by that is um, I know that I should I only need to set the state if it's not already what I want it to be. So if prev state dot checked is not equal to input dot checked then I need to update it. So what's gonna happen I guess is that the first time it comes in here uh, it might need to update the state, then it's going to come in here again, but then the state is going to be correct. So that should prevent that infinite loop. Let's refresh. Uh, make this a little smaller. Okay, so if I click other, that shows up. Good. And if I click one of these other radio buttons, it disappears and there's, there's no error, so there's no infinite loop, so it looks pretty good. Now one thing I'm concerned about is that typing in this box might trigger a change event as well. And let's see, test, yeah, it seems okay though. It might be, it might be causing this to update itself, but it's happening so quickly that it's not even an issue. All right, so I've used some extra features in React, uh, some more advanced features. I've used get DOM node to get under the hood and actually get access to the DOM. I've used component did update to do some uh, some extra updating that I had to do when the thing renders and some extra work to make sure that it updates correctly using previous state. I've used also force update which I don't recommend using and actually the docs tell you not to use it but sometimes you need to use it to get around React's limitations. And I've also used refs. So refs let you reference parts of the component and actually get access to them and tell them to do things. All right, so you've learned some pretty advanced React stuff today, and I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, I'm going to introduce some props validation with prop types, and I'm going to uh, fix an issue with the um, the name of all my inputs are refer and I, if I want to be able to reuse this component I need to be able to update that. Alright, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.